I see you, you brought a nice little carriage clock. Yes. It, tell us about the carriage clock. Okay, it belonged to a member of my wife's family, and uh, she was over in Europe and was going to come back on the Titanic and had this in her carry-on luggage, but she missed the Titanic. She oh. got there late. The Titanic had already pulled away from the pier, so that was a that was a very fortunate circumstance to be to be late for that day. Well, she got on the next ship she could, put a rusty nail in her foot. She stepped on a rusty nail. Stepped on a rusty nail on the nail. second ship. On the second ship after surviving the Titanic. Well, she didn't get on to the Titanic, well, but, but yeah, by missing she, it, she survived yeah, the Titanic. And uh, she died as a result of the infection. Wow. Either way, it was her fatal voyage. That was a fatal voyage. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's fate for you. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, her fate was out of her hands, apparently. Oh, yes. So what we have here is we have a brass carriage clock. They come in slightly different sizes, a little bit smaller, sometimes a little bit bigger. It was carried by a traveler in a carriage in order to keep time. And then later it was used on the mantle or in a boudoir or wherever one would need to keep time. It still works, by the way. Okay. So it's made out of brass and beveled clear glass. It has a white enamel face with a Roman numeral chapter ring. Two hands, of course. It's late. Some of them were made fairly early. But this one's fairly late, probably turn of the century. It's probably English or Continental. And doesn't have a lot of value, maybe about 800 at auction. Mm -hmm. But with the story that go along with it, that'll boost interest in the marketplace if it were offered at auction in the marketplace with that story. So it might boost it as much as 50%. So we're looking at a carriage clock that's probably worth between 800 and maybe $1,200. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you bringing this in. Yeah. Okay.